Hi! In this video, I'm going to show you how to create a new module. So I'm working in Firefox because I find that Firefox um, has the most problems. So if, you're, if your web page or module looks good in Firefox, it's most likely going to look good in any browser. And it's good to check all your work in different browsers, um, especially Firefox and um, Internet Explorer, Chrome, and Safari. So I usually have two computers, a PC and a Mac, and check, check my work, not every single time, but often in, in different browsers. So we're going to, this is the um, Spiritual Parenting Made Easy blog page. And as you see, we have the blog set up on the left, and then we have um, different modules on the right. Uh, video, songs, search, categories, products. So we're going to add another module to the right. And the way you do that is you make sure you're logged in, and then you go up to Edit Page. Make sure it says, um, I'm going to close it just so you see the difference. Uh, so it says edit this page. So I'm going to click on edit page. So click edit this page. If you don't do that, you won't be able to edit. So it's just, you'll figure that out pretty quickly. And then to add a new module, you click on module. And add new module. Add existing module means um, <clears throat> add a module from another page or from this page and duplicate it. But we're going to add a fresh module, so add new module. And the module we're going to add is called HTML. And I can keep scrolling like this, or a quicker way to find HTML. Here, I'll just keep doing this way in case you forget how to do this. There is a quicker way that I use. These are all the different modules we have. You don't have to worry about these. Okay, so here's the HTML module right here. So you can find it that way, or you can click this down arrow and click Common. And there it is. <laughs> it's the only one, so you don't have to do any scrolling. And then we're going to hover over here and find um, row, row 5. And this on this page, we're using these two rows, row 5, grid 7, and row 5, grid 5. So I'm going to click on row 5, grid 5, because that's where I want the module to be placed. So click there, and it's spinning, so it's adding the module. And I, that's the only one I'm going to add now, so I'm going to cancel this. and scroll down and find my new module. Here it is. That's how the new modules look. Text HTML and then select Edit Content from the Edit Pencil Icon Action Menu. So that's a fresh new module. I'm going to um, move this module up to the top of the page. And the way you do that is with this um, Maltese cross and click Top. And every time you do something, <clears throat> it saves it, so there's a pause. So be prepared to be very patient. Okay, now this here's our new module, and um, I'm going to call it about Serena. And we can delete this module. This is just for practice. So I... Um, go over the little wheel and click Settings. And this is to um, change the title. Right now, this is what the title says, Text HTML. And that's what they'll say unless you change it. So I'm going to write About Serena. And um, then I'm going to save it. So click Update means Save.
and so it refreshed every time you save something page refreshes and there it is about Serena so so this takes care of the title settings and now um, we're gonna work with the pencil so the Maltese cross puts the module at the top at the bottom or where wherever you want it in any of the grids the um, wheel changes that's where you can change the title and then the pencil is where you actually edit the content so click on that so I'm going to write um, Serena Gafke mother of two children, a boy and a girl, lives in Pittsburgh with her loving husband. Um, let's see, what's his name? with her loving husband. <laughs> okay, so this is a nice editor in that it does do spell check. Period. Uh, Serena writes about spiritual parenting um, please email her at Blah, 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 blah. <laughs> so here's, this is what's called a text editor right in here. This whole box. And it works a lot like a um, Word document. And it has a lot of the same icons and um, things you can do with it. So the default font is a size 3 and it's kind of big. And for the other... Um, module I I put it at a size 2 so the so the um, text would fit in so here's the text size so I'm going to put this as at a size 2 also and I'm sure most web editors are pretty much the same they might have a different layout but they have the same type of um, controls like do you want to make it centered um, align left do you want to make it bold? Um, like say we just want to make the name bold. Serena Gaffey. Do you want to underline it? I don't recommend underlining unless it's a link. Um, and various different things. So I won't get into anything advanced. This is just pretty basic. And so you'll be able to make basic changes and um, create the website as you'd like it. So then after you are happy with what you've written, click Save. And then scroll down and check it. Your um, internet may be f faster than mine, so so here we go. There's the um, module, and there's the text. And if you uh, don't like how it's laid out, you can change it. You can add a period or fix the text. Do whatever you like. Change the heading. So this will be a, a, an extra module you can work on. If, if you don't like the module, you can just delete it. So scroll over the, the wheel or the flower and click delete. 